So a lot of you have been asking, how do we identify harp on the radar? Well, there you go. There's one, that distinct line from the black dot. See it almost hitting Tasmania. Look at how the whole spin happens. Bang. It hits there and moves. There's a little one out there going sideways. Let's come up here. Boom. Big shower. Big round lots of dots all of a sudden. And look at the ferocity of that round bit. And here's an obvious one. An in bit and an out bit. So you can see where that's directing down south. And there's another weird line here where things just happen to appear. So a little sneaky one out there you can see. And one more out here. There it goes sideways on that frame there. So anyway, pretty simple. And you know, it doesn't always look like this. I mean, this is a better one I grabbed for you. You can see way down south there. There, look at it in every angle you can tell it's doing something different and there's another big one look at that that ain't natural you want to tell me how rain can go in a straight line h double a r p high aurora altitude research program trust me they ain't fucking doing research anymore they know exactly what they're doing i'll leave you with one last frame and this is from this hailstorm that just happened on a 30 degree day in Brisbane, mate. As you can see here, some clear harp action on our radar systems, folks. Don't let the Brewer of Meteorology tell you any different. You wanna tell me what storm can turn 90 degrees, go a little further, then turn exactly another 90 degrees again? Yes, exactly. A fucking man-made one. Sweet.